Hello guys, my name is Marcelo and I am doing a video, a raw, this is a raw video, hopefully within a couple of, within a week I should be able to do a video that will actually show, <coughs> excuse me, exactly what I have done. Um, I have been trying to hook up my FDS to XP for the past 8 months. And I wasn't able to, I was able to hook up my MCP and my EFIS to the Zebo 737-800 Max. I was able to do that. And, uh, sorry about that. But, this is my setup right here. Those are my yokes. That's my MC. That's my FMS, my CDU. That's the first officer. And this one is the captain that I was able to connect, which took me a while. Um, I thought that I had to write a file called PRF, which in, I didn't, that I am going to show you in a few. What made it possible was this D-Link right here, right? That's the D-Link. So I had to connect from my computer to the D-Link, right? And from my internet, right? This is my internet, this is to my computer, and this is my Captain CDU. And this is my first officer CDU. And as you can see, everything is connected. Sorry about the mess. Yesterday, um, I had to do a lot of wiring and disconnect and I had to put everything back together. Sorry about the noise, my kids are in school. So what I'm about to show you is exactly what I did on a video. Um, the video is awesome, it's made by an Asian guy. I don't know if he's Japanese, Korean, but this guy, he did an awesome job, right? But I'm gonna explain to you exactly what I did to have my CDU formatted to my, to my x 11, right? So let's get started on this one. So the first thing you gotta do is go to FD, FDS to XP utilities x right? Which is right here. Right, so we want to click on that one. And why did you come out? No, no, this one. So we're going to click on that one. Sorry about that. Clicked on the wrong stuff. So this is the forum. Explain that old forum, right? And this guy, Piki Tanga who built his flight sim, and his flight sim is awesome. All right, so what you wanna do is download FTS, but I did not download that particular FDS to XP, right? So for those who have the other CDU version, right? You want to add the knob, right? You download this one. Get in that since we're already here. Right? I am going to show you the video and I am going to let the video play to show you exactly what this guy did. Like I said, the video is awesome, everything is awesome, but there is a few steps, right? But I'm going to tell you what you're going to need to download. You want to need Java. You want to need to download FDS to XP. The one that I have is SPS to XP Network, right? So in a few minutes, as a matter of fact, let me show you the one that I downloaded. So let me put this one on pause. And I'm going to show you what I downloaded. 
is fds to x p underscore underscore network let's see if it comes up see now this one is FDS to XP network utilities explain that work so I'm gonna click on that one so this is the CDU that I have right there right and I already so if you have that one you don't know this file now let's go back to So here we are again. So as you can see, the first thing that he did So what he did, he downloaded FDX to, oh, is he still going? Sorry, let me pause that. So he downloaded FDS to XP, right? And he put that in your resource plugin folder. The next thing is you wanna download this text, TechWorks, right? And in TechWorks, you wanna download APL v 2.01 right and also you're going to need CDU interface Ethernet those are the two programs that you're going to need so I'm going to show you what you guys is going to need on that one So once you download that file, right, you want to have to program the file. Once you program the file, right, as he is doing right there, he's programming this file into the C drive. Once he does that, he's going to go into Windows program, right? So exactly, I'm gonna show you exactly what he did. So he went into let me back up a little bit. So he went into program files. From there he went into, where is it? Deadworks Limited, right? Interface sample, C bin, bin. So he copied interface, right? 
64 dill and he took it he's gonna take it into I know I gotta explain on this computer explain 11 and he posted it the resource plugin Sorry, resource plugin FTX2XP64. Right, and there you have it. That's what he did. Right, so let's go back. Now what he is doing now is writing the PRF, right? And that's where I had problems in what I thought that I had to write the PR, PR, PRF uh, plugin. And I'm gonna show you that in a few minutes. Now he's got explain open in Windows. So right now he's going to output preferences, right? So now I'm gonna show you what the PRF look like. So now he turned on explain. That's his auto gate on. So he turns on explain, right? Cold dark. Then he's gonna turn it off. So right here, see the PRF is written right there. That's the PRF, right? And that's where I had problem with with the PRF. So now he's gonna put in his IP address, right? So that's after what in the PRF, right? So now he's gonna go back to FDS and take the CDU and he's gonna put it into the Zebo mod. X lower scripts. Now he's on another PC, he's using two PCs, right? So he's on a remote PC. I used one PC, right? So in that part, what he did, right, with the client jar, he opened it. Right, and as you can see here, what he opened right now is X plane is gonna be on and this screen is gonna go black. That screen is black. Now you wanna see the CDU. It's gonna come on in a few, a few seconds. See, that right there, he's gonna drag that onto a CDU, which is right there. So see, his CDU is different than my CDU. So this is just a raw, like I said, it's a raw video. So now he's gonna adjust the box, the black box, and then he's gonna press F11 once he adjusted it, and then he's gonna press F12. Right. 
So now he clears that out and he's gonna start. Now his CDU is programmed. This video is raw, it's unscripted. See? Like I said, I will do another video on this with my CDU. And this is the new CDU that Flight Deck Solution that I bought from Flight Deck Solution. And it is awesome. It makes stuff you know, a lot much easier for me. So now, what I have done, right, sorry, it is lunchtime. Like I said, once again, from the computer, the Ethernet wire goes into the D Link, right? That's the internet uh, straight from my internet um, box I was sitting in my living room I had to run a 300 foot wire All right so these two are the CDU that connects wires that connects to the CDUs right so I'm going to show you that along with my HDMI Cord. So everything is blinking and everything is on. Now, this is my captain's CDU. All right. So now I am on to that is my computer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to explain. Right, where is my explain? So now I'm back. And that is my client. So what I'm gonna do is open up my client. Right, that's how it looks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out. And that's how it uh, shows up, right? I wonder if I explain. Once again, I, I do apologize about the video being raw and dead and drag. <clears throat> I just want to show you guys exactly what what I did. But thanks to. Mr. Cost, both um, M Cost and P Cost. See, now my CDU has changed, it's all black, right? So, I am at the airport, so now I am cold talk. So now, that's the, and once again, this is the max. That is the max. And this is the 800 max. 
so let's get back inside and start her up. that noise all the time but hey see now my CDU is up and I'm gonna press F oh no sorry missed a step so F What's going on here? Are you okay? There it is. Right now it's not in full screen. Right now it's in full screen. See that? Nap that all the day, right? So I'm gonna press this button and it clears it up. So let's get this plane started. Let's run this real quick. Sorry that I'm using my cell phone, but probably later on today I will do another full video with two different cameras. Turn on the GPU. Why are you not? Okay, turn all of these on. So I am gonna zoom in. And I still don't know how to get rid of that noise. So it says enter IRS position. So let's clear this out. So I'm at Okay, Seattle. Okay, Seattle, boom. And she works, watch. Well, I see that right there. Okay, so we are there. Um, I mean, I thought it was hard to get it done. That's my son. He comes in my room and he turns up everything. He's two and a half years old, by the way. So this is my MCP, right? So I'm gonna turn every knob. Every knob works. Every knob works. Everything that I'm turning works, right? Heading, heading. Altitude, altitude. So everything on the MCP, the more control panel and the EFIS works, right? So what I'm gonna do is Sticker for a flight. And this is just to show you guys. I'm 
I'm gonna start both engines at the same time. Which is a no no. Now with the max you gotta wait till the pressure and everything gets up to 25. Telling you, they actually gotta wait till it gets up to 25, and it's really, really takes it takes long. But everything works. I'm gonna put these on right. The flight directors on. Alright, that's that. Some gas, come on. Once again, I am sorry for the raw video. And this is a 737 Max. I love hearing those engines. So, once again, this is K Seattle. And I'm there. And if I want, I can go to K L A X. And I'm putting K L X when it works. So we can go back on the inside and you can see K L X. Now for my flaps. Everything works, everything moves, everything works. Speed brake, everything works. So let's turn these on. Let's take her for a little spin. Oh, I can't stand. Next camera. So, come on. Oh. So now we're gonna go back next and position again pop 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 and it should be coming up hmm. don't know why it's taking on so let's go for a test drive what is that Ten thousand feet. And I'm gonna push the throttle. I got a lot of stuff mapped to my quadrant. My yoke is mapped the way I want it. And as you can see. And one. So let's get on. So 
So sorry once again that I am doing this. So, now as you can see we are Got to press a BS. No way I wanna climb. Our heading is three one two. Now this is my first office CD which I'm I have to program, so I'm thinking. I might need another D-Link for it, maybe, maybe not. But I think I have programmed in the rest, so I'm just going to find out what I need to do. But once again, I'm sorry about this short video. Okay, we are stable, we are climbing. So let's turn. Uh, nice little turn. And turn to one for five. And we are turning. Where we at? We at K Seattle. And not all of you guys is not gonna like this video, but like I said, it's raw. I'm using my cell phone. Sorry about that. So because I took off, we did not get the alignment. That is okay, this is just a test run. All right. So in that, we are at 8,000 feet, climbing at 219 at the speed. Our heading is one four two, just right there. One four two, right? Let me see. Let me look at the map. See where I'm at.
So let's descend to 3,000 feet. Well, no, let's go to 8,000 feet. And now we are going to turn two five zero. Yeah, everything works. Once again, this is the Max seven three seven eight. This is the Max eight. And like I said, everything works. Oh, I forgot my seatbelts. And we are dropping. And that is the airport right over there. Boom. So once again, everything works. Even if I, when I press, it's not gonna work. Why? Because I'm on pause. So let's unpause this. Like I said, once again, everything works. See? I didn't put in my own limits. I didn't do none of that stuff because it is a short video so in the video now your files your CDU has to be the right CDU for your CDU right So now give me a couple of days and I will do another video, a shorter video, right? And show your OI program, my CDU. I mean, the guy's great, he program everything. I've seen a lot of his videos and so forth. Um, but if you're having problems like I did, if you're looking to build your flight sim you know it doesn't matter where you buy your stuff from you know make sure you understand and know what you're buying what you're getting into what you're going to need and so forth um, I thought I needed a lot of stuff I thought I needed a second computer but I didn't but I do need another one because of all the stuff that I'm going to be uh, getting so thanks to MCOS and PCOS Thank you guys very much. Um, everybody who wrote those programs, right? That makes it possible for me to uh, have my flight sim set up. Thank you so much. So, out.